going on people finally back from vacation it's been about two weeks but we are finally back in business and ready to start making more videos we have a bunch of awesome uploads lined up for you guys we've got some music videos we got some tutorials like this one we're gonna start it off with a bang this one is actually very simple to understand this one is actually very short I don't have to talk too much about it but there's some really useful information in this video it's something that I use probably in every single one of my projects and I think that it's something that's gonna help you guys a huge amount always if you do enjoy these videos please leave a like if you like to support the channel comment below what you guys would see next I take all of your comments into account on what I'm gonna make next and if you guys are new consider subscribing join the community anyways guys enough talking let's hop in here and let me show you some cool stuff so there's three main things I'm gonna show you the first one is continuity and flow of your video the second one is creating your own movement and speed and then the third one is mastering your zoom so that you can zoom anywhere you want and control that way better so let's talk about the first one continuity and flow of your video so I have some quick little examples lined up here here are some shots that I have just some b-roll so this is shot on a tripod and I'm going to edit this so that it's one after the other we show all this destruction happening and I'm gonna show you how I kind of made that flow all together so like I said on a tripod it's not moving at all here is how this all ended up with all the color grading all the effects and that one subtle little thing that I'm gonna show you that is super useful into making this video flow a lot better so let me play it out and you can see subtle little zooming in that you guys are seeing right here this makes the video flow a ten times better I guarantee that a lot of your guys's favorite directors a lot of your favorite editors have used this technique before this kind of slight zooming in instead of having just a static still shot so instead of having one still shot on a tripod and then cutting to another still shot cutting to another still shot we want to have it moving forward cut moving forward it just makes it look a lot more smooth so to do that let's go to our clips right here now make sure you drag to your starting position so right there we're gonna click on our clip and then up in the top left we're gonna go to our effect controls and then down here we're gonna go to scale so just click this little keyframe button next to scale it says toggle animation click that and we're gonna drag to the end of our clip now and we're going to make that 115 now you can boost this up to whatever you like play that out for you guys and you're gonna see we have this slight zooming in on the actual subject that we want the people to be looking at now what you can do is you can click here you can readjust these keyframes if you drag it back and make it closer to the original it's gonna be faster just like this and if you drag it all the way out it's gonna be more slow so I'm gonna do it like that we just have that slight little we have that slight little zoom let's do the same thing to this clip now so click on there go to the very beginning top left in your effect controls we're gonna keyframe scale right there so click the keyframe button and then drag to the end and then just make this 115 so as easy as that just gonna help it flow better it's something that you can consider just getting some tripod shots and then doing the movement in post and that brings me to my next thing that I want to talk about which is creating your own actual camera movement and improving the speed so we're gonna do that in After Effects and let me show you some quick examples to kind of give you a better visual representation of what I'm talking about so I showed you this at the beginning here's before we have this handheld shot of this picture and then the after this was all created within After Effects this is all artificial camera movement so I wanted to match the high speed energy of that song I wanted to be zooming in zooming out quick as if I had the camera and I was going like this so let's play that out for you and this is really transforming the shot and cr and crafting it into what we want it to look like just like that here's another really good example so this shot some people would say that this is a completely ruined shot because there's a person in here so not only did we take the person out of this shot but let me just show you another cool little thing so we took him out by just zooming in and this is another thing that I want to talk about it pans over and then as he swings towards it it zooms in it matches the energy it makes it looks like it makes it look like there's a lot more power behind that swing and it really puts you in the moment and puts you in the middle of the action so let's go ahead and take this clip right here we're gonna drag that into After Effects I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that so right click it replace it with an After Effects composition hey okay guys so we have that clip with an After Effects let me show you how we can manipulate those camera controls and also create some custom speed and movement so first steps first we're going to go ahead and click this toggle switches and modes button at the bottom left until you see these little boxes right here and you're gonna want to check this box that has this 3d cube just like that what that just did is it made this layer a 3d layer instead of a 2d layer so if you open up your transform options you can see there's there's a lot more options because you can now transform this within 3d space just like that you have the Z axis on there right there now instead of just the X and the Y but alone for now let's close that and we're gonna right click down here in just this gray area you can also just go up to layer and we're gonna go to new now the 
the focal length of the camera, you can choose that. I, us I usually just do it based off the actual shot. So what I would use in real life. So if it's a close up shot, I'd go maybe 35 millimeter. For this one, 50 millimeter will work fine. So let's click 50 millimeter and go ahead and click OK. OK, so now, like I said, it's super simple to use this. Only thing you need to do is get used to using these camera controls. So if you click the C key on your keyboard, you're going to see these camera controls pop up. Um, it's also this tool right here. If you all click, you can cycle through them. And the only two you're going to need for this is this one right here, the in and out control, and then this one, which is the four point movement, just like that. And what we're going to do is drag to the beginning of where we want to fix this. And we're going to zoom in so that you can't see this person on the right anymore. We're going to go ahead and click C until we get that four point movement. And we're just going to reposition it. Click C, zoom in a little bit more, and then reposition it however you like. So just like that. Now, here's how we create the animation for the actual movement. What we're going to do is we're going to open up this camera layer. And here's all of our settings, which we can now keyframe or animate. So let's go ahead and just click this and just switch all of those on just like that. Now we're just going to move in a little bit and we're just going to see what's going on and what we want to manipulate. So say, like I said, we want to create that speed and that movement. We want, we want to make it look like there's more power behind that swing and just move the camera with the action and the shot. So right when he hits that picture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click C and I'm just going to do this little zoom in like that and I'm going to move it a little bit and then I'm going to drag and I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to zoom out a bit just like that. So here's the animation that we just created. Zooms in, bam, zooms out just like that. So that's how you can create that movement and you can really match the energy of your shots and match the energy of the music. So let's let's keep scrolling through. He moves over to the left, so we'll do that as well. Click C, move him over to the left so we can see what's happening here. Drag over. As soon as he goes in to hit that, we're gonna zoom in just like that. And then we're gonna pull over and then we're gonna drag a little bit more and we're gonna zoom out. So we pop in, we pop out, move to the left, pop in, pop out. Let me show you what that looks like. And we got all our keyframes here. You could always drag these if you wanna reposition them, make them slower or faster. Zoom over and then bam again, just like that. And that's really the magic of this camera control. Use this throughout your project, guys. It's gonna make it a, t a million times better, especially if you have these still shots and you have this high energy song. Now, of course, you could always shoot handheld. You could always move it around and match the energy, but this is just a really useful tool to have in your pocket. And this is something that, I, like I said, is gonna completely your videos 10 times. So let me show you another example of what you can do with this. And this is the zooming example. All right, so right here, we have some cool shots where I use that After Effects camera to zoom into things that I wanted to. So in this shot, I created this 3D castle coming up and I wanted to zoom up and then into this window and then burst through just like that. A cool little creative transition. Let me show you exactly how to do something like that. And then here's another example of that. This time, what I do is I just cut this away and I wanna just zoom through his jacket. So I'm gonna use the After Effects camera just to, use the, just to do the zooming. You could do this with a scale, but if you use the camera, it gives you better control of where you're zooming in and the speed of where you're zooming in. So let's go back into After Effects and I'm just gonna create a new composition. So project, and I'm just gonna click this button right there, create new composition. If you guys have footage in Premiere already, you could always just right click it, bring it into After Effects like from before. So this time I'm just gonna make a quick little 3D building from scratch just to kind of prove my point and because I wanna tie 3D into this. So I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing to actually make this 3D element because I have a bunch of videos already out there talking about it. So go ahead and follow those videos along if you wanna learn how to create how to add 3D stuff into your videos or how to create cities. I have a bunch of stuff like that. I'm, I'm just creating a quick little tiny city to use as this example. But down in the description, I'm gonna link below my tutorials, step by step on how to create these cities and how to create a bunch of cool 3D objects. So let's put this quick little city in there and click OK. Just for reference, I'm using Element 3D for the 3D stuff I am, and I'm using Video Copilot's Metropolitan Pack. I wanted to show you how to do it with the 3D stuff because you need cameras to be able to move around in 3D space for any 3D object that you put in with Element 3D. So let's right click here. And just like before, we're gonna add that camera. So go to new and then go to camera. And for this one, we'll use a 50 millimeter. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now we're gonna use C again. And this time you can use this rotation one. And let's just zoom in and find a nice like little, find a nice little window that we can burst through. Um, just, just as if we are doing this in any video. And you don't have to do this with the 3D element. You can do this with any footage. You can zoom in through any window, any square, any TV, anything you really want to that kind of applies. 
So let's say we want to start right about there. Let's go ahead and open up our camera controls and then open up transform. Let's just turn on all those keyframes and you don't have to turn on all of them. It's just a habit that I do that I like to turn all of them on in case I change other stuff. Now let's drag through for how long we want this zoom to last. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use that C key, use those camera controls and drag into anywhere where you anywhere that you'd like to zoom into. So let's say we want to zoom into this top window right here. Just click C, keep cycling through there. Now here's another really cool tip. Um, instead of ending it right here, since we're really zooming through this window, at the end, just click C and just burst right through it. And you can um, you can cut away all this excess because we want it to really look like it's bursting through, not just stopping at the edge of the window. Let's play that. Cool little zoom in there. Like I said, we can cut that all away because that's going to be the transition. Now, if this is too fast or too slow, you can always just drag these keyframes out. This will make it slower just like this. And then of course, drag it in and it'll be a lot faster. This is going to be like super fast, just like that. So that's how you create the zooms. It's, it's insanely easy. Like I said, guys, insanely simple. Make sure you use those After Effects cameras to your advantage. You just need to switch that 3D layer on. Remember that, create the camera, and then use those camera controls to do all your zooming. It's a lot better than using just the scale to zoom up. I know when I was starting out, and I feel like a lot of beginners when starting out, they'll just keyframe the scale to scale up. Use these cameras, it's a lot better. You can create the movement and the speed. You can improve a lot of stuff. So don't be afraid to bring a tripod to shoots and get a lot of shots just on a tripod, because you always have this at your disposal. You can always add all this camera movement in post. Obviously, don't do all of your camera movement in post, but it's just something that you have in your back pocket in case you do need to do that and you wish that you just had a little bit more shakiness to the camera or you just zoomed in at the specific point. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, like I said, join the community. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. We've got a bunch of really cool ideas that I want to share with you guys. Regular, up to, regular uploads are returning. Music videos are returning. We're pushing for 100k subs. It hopefully is going to happen within a couple of months, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.